Hello, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I've got five plants I'd like to show you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kenneth, and I talk all about plants here on this channel. So if you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button and follow me on my plant journey. Alrighty guys, so since my last video, we have hit 200 subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough for all of your support, for liking my content, commenting on my stuff, and I just can't appreciate you guys enough. I thank you, and this is just the beginning. It's only been one month since I started doing this, and I already, I, I feel your support. I feel you right here. I feel you. I can't appreciate you guys enough, and I thank you. I thank you for all you do. I thank you for just coming and watching my videos and taking the time out of your day. I appreciate it, and just because of that, today's video, I'd like to start off by saying Merry Christmas. It's December 2nd. Anybody in the Christmas spirit, I'm ready. Merry Christmas, okay? Merry Christmas to you. Happy Hanukkah. Happy whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays, all right? Happy New Year. Let's get 2020 over with. Anyways, I got five plants I'd like to show you guys off here, and um, they're kind of like my babies. Um, they're all my babies. <laughs> but um, I got five plants I wanted to show you guys. These are little, little trees, you know, in the spirit of Christmas, my little ficus trees. Anybody have ficuses in their house? Anyways, I have five ficus, um, ficus, ficus, whatever you call it. I got five ficuses I'd like to show you. And these are pretty easy for me to care for. They haven't given me any issues. I honestly can't complain about ficuses. I know they're like very, um, it's very sporadic. You get either you get lucky or you don't. People have trouble with them. I never had any issues with my ficuses, but here, here it goes. Okay. I'm sorry if you had issues with your ficuses before. I never did. I can't relate, but I can tell you what I do and hopefully, you know, yours can thrive as much as mine, but I do have sympathy and I empathize for it with you. If you've lost any ficuses, to any issues okay they do drop a lot of leaves i know they're temperamental i know i know i know but i've never had any of these issues personally okay and i'm gonna start off right here with my free one i got this one for free this is my ficus um audrey i won this in a giveaway on instagram um if you don't follow me on instagram go follow me on instagram um it's kenny's plant feed i'll put the handle down here and this is my little ficus audrey might be a little dusty, but she's a, she's just a little baby. And you can see right there, she put out a little a little leaf. Oh, it's so cute and tiny. Anyways, yeah, this is my little ficus. She's sitting in this in this big old pot, but she's really just in a little four inch pot. Her roots are coming out the bottom. She's gonna need to be repotted. But this is my little ficus tree. She's so happy. She sits in my bedroom on my nightstand in front of an east west east. East West East facing window and honestly I cannot complain she hasn't dropped any leaves she's just been growing no problems no insects that's my little ficus Audrey my free plant who doesn't love a, a free plant who love who doesn't love getting things for free man yeah that was my free plant that's my first one yeah, for today's video I should hang some ornaments on her and the, and the festive spirit of Christmas. And then um, number two I will show you here is um, this ruby, ficus teneki, whatever you want to call it. Honestly, I think it's a teneki. It could be a ruby. You tell me. Look at that. Isn't it so cute? This is number two. It's very small. Actually, this one, when I first brought it home, it dropped a couple leaves and you can tell it's looking a little a little leggy down here but that's okay it's normal it's acclimated now it'll hopefully just start growing leaves now it's, this one sits um on my plant stand or plant table whatever you want to call it it has grow lights on on it throughout the day and i water this baby when it's dry pretty easy. I run the humidifier a couple of times throughout the day here and there. It's not always running, but I do have a humidifier that I run occasionally and I think it likes it. I don't know. It's just happy. It's cute. It's got like pink undersides and a little bit pink on the on the ed outer outer edges. 
and some pink inside the leaves. Like this one's a little pink. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, this is my ficus, either burgundy, ficus, uh, teneki, I don't know, one of the other. You let me know, I'm probably saying it wrong. I am not the smartest or the keenest. I am just in love with plants. This is a ficus. All I know is that it's a ficus, okay? And number three. Oh, by the way, I purchased this one. If you're in like the ABE area, I purchased this one in Forks Township at a little gift shop, um, plant store, whatever you want to call it, called um, Gift Box and Floral? Gift Box and Garden. Something like that. I'll tag it down in the description below. But yeah, this one was $10 at gift box and floral garden, one or the other. And then this, boom, adorable little guy. My uh, Altissima variegated ficus, lost a leaf. Anyways, it's so cute, it's acclimated here now. It's got a little, Thing. I think it wants to put out on the leaf, but it's slacking. I don't know. It's taking its time. It's okay. You know, good things take time. And it's definitely worth the wait with these beautiful variegated leaves. Like I love the green on green. So adorable. Yeah. This is number three and I got this. Should I even tell you guys? I think you already know where I got this one. It's, it's from, <laughs> it's from just one more plant. You guys are very well aware that I spend lots of my money there. But this one was um, only 13 bucks. Yeah, this one was only 13 bucks. So cute. Easy care, I water it when it's dry. This recently just got a watering, um, so it's kind of moist right now. But yeah, pretty, pretty basic care. Probably like a fungus gnat in this video. Get away. Um, easy. Water it when it's dry, sits under the table with the grow lights. Pretty easy care. And number four for today's video. This is a rubber, uh, they're all rubber plants. <laughs> this is a, a, a burgundy, a ficus burgundy, elastica burgundy. I don't know the scientific or the names. I don't know. I just call it my, my ficus, my little rubber tree. This is my burgundy rubber tree, okay? It's a cute little guy. This one I've shown before in my, one of my videos. I think it was like a haul that I did during my um, shop with me at Dan Shantz. I got this one at Dan Shantz. And I got this one for $5.99. $5.99 at Dan Shantz. Haven't seen much action with it since I got it, but again, it is winter time, but it does sit um, on the plant stand table with um, grow lights on it all day. It does sit further away from the grow light, but yeah, this is a burgundy. It's adorable. Pretty easy, I water it when it's dry. And last, but definitely not least, I have here the one who joined my plant family closer to the beginning of the time I started this journey. And she's been growing very beautifully. My mother has named this one, Rosa named this one. And Rosa calls this Ficus Lyrata, fiddle leaf fig, Teresa. Her name is Teresa. And Teresa has honestly been doing so good. I never had any issues with her. Obviously, this is kind of like the side that sits more back to the sun. I try to rotate her. She doesn't like it. She just like, she, look at her. It's so cute. Um, yeah, Teresa, she sits in front of a west facing window all day, every day. Her growth has kind of slowed down now, but she does have like new growth in there. And I took the cover off because I saw on TikTok that if you remove the, the sheath, the covering on it, it like grows taller and I wanted, to, I wanted to test it out. So I'm experimenting with this. 
Let's see if it works. It kind of looks like it's doing something. I don't know if you can't if you can see it in there. But yeah, this is my Teresa. So guys, say welcome Teresa. Hello Teresa, and she's beautiful. I got her for ten dollars, if I'm not mistaken, at Home Depot. Yeah, nine ninety eight at Home Depot a couple months back. She's been growing very well here. No issues with her ever. I do give her a shaking once in a while just to strengthen her her stem because it is just one stem and I want it to be a nice and strong one. I don't want it to be skinny and janky. I want it to be strong. So give it a shake a couple times. It's all right. Um, yeah, that's, that's the last but not least one for today. Ficus Lyrata Fiddly Fig. And honestly, super easy for me personally. I'm speaking on my personal experience. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy for everyone, but I am saying that these all have been pretty easy standard care for me. I water them when they're dry. I give them good light and I don't really mess with the humidity much because honestly, I haven't seen any um, effects, like any anything bad happening without like high humidity. And I live in an apartment. I don't think it's high humidity in here. It's probably like max like 40, 35 humidity levels in here and that's about it for these for these babies i don't do much special for them i wipe their leaves clean so that they can keep photosynthesizing and and they could keep getting their beautiful growth and foliage growth but other than that that's pretty much it for these guys and i just wanted to show them off with you um in the spirit of like christmas and they're like trees and i just thought it correlated well together if not it's okay you can let me know down in the comment section like totally not related and that's okay that's fine I just wanted to share with you guys that I have a couple of uh, ficus trees in this place and they're doing phenomenally well. And yeah, that's about it. I thank you so much. Like I said before, thank you so much for joining me on this plant journey here. It's been a good start. It's only been one month and we've hit the 200 subscribers mark. And that's all thanks to you because you're amazing. You are awesome. And I appreciate you. If you have yet to follow me on Instagram, get on it. It's at Kenny's Plant Feed. I'll, I'll look at your stuff. I'll follow you back and I appreciate you. Um, again, give it, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know down in the comment section what you liked, what you didn't like, and I'll see you next time. Stay well, and this is the beginning of a happy holidays.